Vernon Electric Cooperative, Cooley Cap, and the Public Service Commission's Office of Energy Innovation join forces. The result is the Bluff Prairie Community Solar Array in the town of Wheatland near Red Mound. This is a project that we've been working on for a couple of years. They just don't come together real quick. So we get to this point today where we can bring everybody together, all of our partners together to celebrate uh, what we've been able to accomplish. It's, uh, it's pretty exciting. Burris says Cooley Cap's involvement was a big help for the project. This project was designed to maximize our ability to put solar in on this particular substation. So the, the project was pretty well set. Uh, Cooley Camp's involvement brought solar to the low to moderate income. It allowed us to carve out part of this larger project that we had already put together and, and be able to use that for the, the solar for the low to moderate income. The executive director of Cooley Cap, Hetty Brown, says a key step in the project was listening to the community. You have to listen to the community. We did focus groups and interviews to do that. You listen to your community and then you build solutions that meet community needs. Um, Vernon Electric was great at partnering with us to explain how their community solar project in general would work um, and then we had to design a program where we knew meaningful benefits could be allocated. Many state politicians showed up for the ceremony including Representative Lauren Oldenburg, Senator Brad Paff and Governor Tony Evers. You can't live without, without uh, electricity or, or heat, heat in your home and uh, whether you're rich or poor and uh, we have to make sure that uh, these new and in innovative ways are impacting not just people of means, but people that struggle financially and Cooley Cap kind of steps in the chasm here to, to make that happen. The project is estimated to produce 528,000 kilowatt hours of energy per year, resulting in annual bill credits of more than $30,000 for income eligible members. In Vernon County, Dashiell Menzel, First News at 9. More than 1,900 panels will be available to members for community solar subscriptions, including the Energize Wisconsin program.